One of the big decisions when building a PC is air cooler versus AIO. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing the Be Quiet Pure Loop versus the Dark Rock Slim. And I'm gonna have temperatures as well as some installation ideas and processes on which one would be right for you, whether you're a beginner or an advanced PC builder. Now, if you want to know how to install either of these products, you can check it out in the YouTube cards above or at the end of this video. Those are the actual Be Quiet installation guides, and they're super helpful. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about thermals. For the Cinebench R23 benchmark, this is a 10-minute benchmark where it pushes the CPU to its limits. For the air cooler, I saw a stabilized temperature of about 55 degrees Celsius with a slow rise to about 58 degrees Celsius, but on average, it was at around 55 degrees Celsius. Now, at idle, the air cooler runs the CPU at about 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, now this same test on the AIO came in at 48 degrees Celsius stabilized and 50 degrees Celsius on the high end for Cinebench R23. As far as idle is concerned, it was about four degrees cooler during idle at 31 degrees Celsius. Now, before we get into the DaVinci Resolve video editing thermals, which pushes the CPU very hard in the free version because it's predominantly using the CPU during that export, the installation process of an AIO is not difficult, but it's not as streamlined as simple as an air cooler. That would probably be one of the biggest standout things is the temperature differences for the ease of installation and long-term maintenance. An air cooler is going to be the way to go for a beginner PC builder who doesn't mind seeing this larger air cooler in their PC. The AIO definitely looks a lot sleeker and cooler as far as design is concerned. They're about neck and neck in price at the moment with the Dark Rock Slim being probably about $20 to $30 cheaper. That's not a super big price difference, but it does make a difference every $10 counts when building a PC, so that could save you a little bit of money. For DaVinci Resolve, the air cooler stabilized the CPU at about 53 degrees Celsius and saw a high temp of about 56 degrees Celsius. For the AIO, it was stabilized at 45 degrees Celsius and had a high temperature of 47 degrees Celsius. So as you see, overall, AIO is going to keep your PC cooler. Air cooler is going to do almost as good of a job, but be a slightly easier installation process. Now, another thing with AIOs is you may have to top off the fluids and they have a little bit more moving parts. So the long-term longevity of the product might be a little more finicky than the simplicity of an air cooler. Plus, air coolers tend to be a little bit cheaper, so replacing an air cooler after five or six years would be less of a cost than it would be to replace an AIO. And if you notice that the fan isn't working, then you realize, oh, something's up. I can go ahead and give it a quick fix. Whereas with the AIO, it's kind of hard to tell if the pumps are still working or not working. And that could be prohibitive if you're not an expert PC builder, always constantly looking at your temperatures and just observing um, how your components are working. Again, videos for installation guides and links in the description below for either of these products if you want to make a purchase. And if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Let's keep this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Until next time, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. My name is Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.